I used to try to fit in, on oh, man out. I can never conform, I'm a standout. Trying to be like them, it never panned out. I took a different route, I got it planned out. I made my own lane, got my own swag. I'm a vibe, I'm in my own bag. My fly different, yeah, I embrace that. I know my time coming, ain't gotta chase that. I'm built different, I hit different, always have. Ain't no shorty like me, keep it a hundred thousand. I put my heart in it. I hey guys, what's up? Yes, my background is different today because if you've been listening to my videos, I told y'all that I was going to Vegas and I am here. It's a little um, empty right now and it's empty too because of COVID. We're actually eating at this place right here. But this is not the vlog. I am going to be doing some vlogging, but I am dropping a quick video today because, you know, I got to hit y'all every Friday slash Saturday morning. So I wanted to stay on track with what I was doing. So today I want to talk to y'all about communication. Like, it's easy to think that um, you're articulating yourself or expressing yourself the right way. But the truth is, we don't always say what we mean. We don't always say the things that need to be said for the other person to understand where we're coming from. Whether it's in friendships, whether it's in relationships, um, whatever the case may be. But we have to make sure that we're saying it. We just got to say it. Like with me personally, I like to beat around a bush. I don't like to always say exactly what I'm thinking or feeling because I don't know, like I don't want to hurt people's feelings or sometimes I think they should just know, you know, like you know what I'm talking about, but they actually may not know. And like I said, especially if you're married or you're in a relationship with a significant other, it can get really taxing and hard if you're trying to talk to somebody and they're not picking up what you're throwing down. Like, listen, I'm telling you this, but they're taking it a different way or it may look like they not even acknowledging what you said but it's a reason for it like we're actually not expressing ourselves and we're not communicating effectively where the other person can understand so um perfect example my husband gave me some content so i gotta thank him for it but earlier today we went on a jog right we went to vegas i mean not to vegas we went on a two mile jog earlier today now mind you my husband he is a beast he can jog like four miles or whatever straight, don't have to stop, don't need a water break, don't need a breather. Like he's in really good condition, you know, so he's able to do a little bit more than I can. I let myself fall off a little bit, but you know, I'm picking it back up. But anyhow, so we jogging, right? You know, we going, uh, 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 we going, we doing our thing. And so he wants to run and work up a good sweat or whatever. But with me, I want to actually, um, Oh, I actually want to exercise, but how much I sweat or don't sweat, that don't bother me. But he feel like you're not working out unless you get a good sweat, right? So anyhow, we jogging along and I can tell he wants to go faster and I'm getting a little winded. You know, it's hot out here. We in the desert. So I was like, babe, you can go ahead. Cause you know, he wanted to stay with me because you know, we on the strip and not the main strip. It's like one of the side strips. So, you know, he wanted to stay with me, make sure I was good. But once we kind of saw what it was, it was like a police station right there, a fire department, people driving by. It was like a really populated area. So, you know, I was just like, all right, babe, you know, you can go ahead of me. And then he went ahead of me and I got mad. <laughs> Cause the thing is like, I really didn't want him to go ahead I just wanted to give him the option to, but I didn't want him to pick the option to. I wanted him to stay with me, you know, but because he didn't read my mind, because I didn't clearly express what I wanted from him, I didn't get the result I wanted. So who fault is that, right? It's on me because I should have been like, babe, you know, I really want you to stay with me. I know I'm not at the pace you at, but you know, for right now, can we just run together or whatever? And you know, I'll try to pick it up a little bit. Like I should have said something. I should have expressed it differently, but I shouldn't have told him to go ahead if I didn't really want him to go ahead. So how many times have y'all done that? Be honest, like how many times have you said to somebody, oh, do this, or you ain't got to worry about it, or I'm okay, I'm fine, and you lying, or you're just not being forthcoming. You're not really expressing how you feel. I'm sure it happens a lot. And if that's the case, you have to change the way you communicate. You can't just drop hints. You can't expect them to understand. You can't expect them to read your mind. You actually have to say what it is you want and you have to be very specific and clear and direct about it if you want the other person to understand. 
So it's just like um, my daughter, she'll ask me a question and she's much like my husband. So she just want me to come out and say it, you know, but I may want to know if she's going on a date, let's just say. And, you know, she's 23, so she kind of private. She talks to me sometimes, sometimes she don't. So, you know, instead of me be like, hey, you going on a date tonight? I'm be like, hey, so um, what are you doing today? You have any plans? You know, are you, um, you know, do you have to work today? So I'm asking all these roundabout questions. But all I really want to know is, are you going on a date tonight? You know, but for some reason, I have an issue with just saying that and just expressing that. So um, I am a work in progress and I'm working on it, but it just made me feel like, um, of course, I'm in Vegas, so expect the unexpected, right? <laughs> but, um, you know, so I'm just learning to really articulate and express how I'm feeling and say the things that I mean and not just assume that the other person knows or that they should understand because they can't understand if I'm not really telling them what it is that I need or want. So anyhow, like I said, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. You know, again, I'm out here. I am going to be doing some vlogging. So um, I want to show you all the sights and sounds of Vegas. You know, my husband and I, we're out here. You know, we don't have our children with us. So we enjoying just some us time. You know, I'm looking cute or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Got the little shorts on and everything. Got the little box braids. So I'm feeling myself. But um, I'm going to hit y'all back with some vlogs. But anyhow, like I said, I just wanted to give y'all a quick video um, about communicating better, guys. We got to express ourselves. We got to say what we're thinking. We can't expect the other people to read our mind. And then when they don't, we get mad. We can't do that no more, all right? I love you guys. Thanks again for watching. Please like if you haven't already. Share, subscribe, and I'll be back with some vlogs. All right.